cool. We're gonna keep the show going, you guys. This guy uh, coming to the stage. This is his second year working on the tour, man, and we really enjoy him. We met him in New Orleans, and he's worked with us since. Give it up for our friend Corey Mack, y'all. Let him hear it. Salute to Mexicans. Fuck that. God damn it. This is for y'all, god damn it. I'm drinking a tequila shot, god damn it. Oh shit, here we go. Now they were black person to do. We think we Mexican too, bitch, when we hear it. <laughs> Mexican women be like, that's too many hips, poppy. <laughs> that's not how y'all do it? That's not how y'all do it. <laughs> I, uh, my name is Corey Matt, by the way. Um, when, when I got here two days ago, I got here two, two days ago, and uh, we went to the news station, and they had a fucking picture of, of the weather, but not like the weather that I'm used to. It didn't say rain, it didn't say heat. That shit said gust. I said, nigga, what the fuck is gust? Nigga, what is gust? And I googled this shit, I went, Let me stop lying, I'll type like this. That's on my smartphone. <laughs> I type that shit in, and it's like, a burst of wind. I said, what the fuck does a burst of wind Need a fucking forecast for. Till I drove into a grocery store parking lot, nigga. <laughs> fucking grocery carts. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, bitch, Gus! I was like, Gus is the ghost of a nigga with a fucked up car. <laughs> I don't care about your car. <laughs> So fuck Gus. <laughs> Gus asshole. Gus will kill your car. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is cool, man. You know why I like Mexicans? Let me tell you why I like Mexicans. Let me tell you why I like Hispanic people. Because I know it's not just Mexicans. I know this is North South America. <laughs> Dude, you might be from Guatemala, this bitch. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying up there. I'm just saying, like, y'all fucking, like, y'all, y'all don't just build, like, you, 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 you work, you build, and then you got, like, some extra work, and then you build some shit. <laughs> like, that's incredible, man. Like, I'm telling you, everybody, like, I'm just telling you, like, I'm so impressed by your people. Like, everybody seems to me like we got a side hustle. <laughs> so, me and my girl went to the strip club last time we came through here. Stripper came on the pole. She said, you want a lap dance after I'm done on this stage? I was like, nah, I'm good. She said, throw my legs. I said, shit, I got the munchies, hell yeah. She got it. What you got? It. What you got? It. What you got it. Yo, I was uh, I was smoking some weed all the way here. Fucking cops pulled me on. Fucking whoop, 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 whoop. lights hit me. I was like, oh shit. I pull over. Cop looked at me and he said, you know why I stopped you? I said, no. He said, throw my legs. <laughs> <laughs> said, bitch, I'm moving to El Paso. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. 
But I know that we got like a similar culture, man. Like we big on the music. Make some noise if you love music. Y'all, that's cool. The ones are like, what does me on that? I can't hear me with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, music is cool, man. Like I'm from New Orleans. That's the birthplace of jazz music. Yeah. I don't know if you know what jazz sounds like, but it's a little bit like this. It goes. <laughs> Now we got another kind of music though, it's a little bit more modern. Jazz is old school, but we got another beat in New Orleans. You may have heard it, it's called Bounce. It goes like this, it goes. <laughs> Ladies be like, they put their hands on their knees and they dip in their back. They look over the show, nobody they talking they like that, they go. <laughs> now you know you got a little booty legs when you twerk your shit like that, like am I doing it? Is that it, is that it, is that it? <laughs> got the yo and look at her booty. <laughs> but we got a beat, man. So that beat, there's a part of the song that goes, after you bang it up, then stop. Wah, 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 tri <laughs> Did you hear that? Drop it like it's hot. That means drop it like this. <laughs> now some of y'all got fucked up knees. <laughs> So you can't drop it like it's hot. You gotta drop it like it's thawing out at room temperature. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. <laughs> I had babies, puppy. <laughs> but see, this is El Paso. See, when you drop it like it's hot, you can drop it all the way to the ground, ladies. Listen. This city's so fucking clean. Y'all don't just have the, what is it, the three to five second rule? Y'all got like the two minute rule. <laughs> this city's so clean, ladies, if you drop it like it's hot and your coochie touch the ground, <laughs> and they left it there, walked off, fellas, you can walk up. Well, 30 seconds later, oh, this is me. All right, here we go. I feel so white when I get around y'all. <laughs> oh my god, I love your language. Taco, how do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> so the song goes, drop it like it's hot, right? So I'm just saying, ladies, fellas, if they drop it and they leave that cooch on the ground, you can walk up, you can walk up 30 seconds later, pick that pussy up and still eat it. <laughs> it's still good. <laughs> It's still good. Listen, you come to New Orleans. Don't give that to you. Don't let that pussy touch the ground. Is what I'm Not even one. We don't even have a one second rule in New Orleans. That fucking city's so dirty. Listen, ever since they freed the slaves, we ain't cleaned that city since. <laughs> Niggas like, you free. Fuck this shit, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to say, ladies, if you come to the walls and you drop it like it's hot and your coochie touch the wallet's floor, you might as well just take your pussy off and just put the cover. That's all I'm saying. Just, 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 let a drag queen catch that bitch. I got it. I want to be a woman. <laughs> Double stitch, bitch, it ain't falling off. Oh, God. <laughs> I love my city, though, man. It makes a noise if you've ever been to New Orleans. So you understand, man, it's a different, it's a different animal. And that city, man, like, like I dated, like, we got like weird shit in the walls. Voodoo, okay, you been there. Yes. 
We got some other shit too. Now that, ever since Katrina happened, we got people coming in from all around the country. Um, before I got married, I was dating this girl that came in. <laughs> She's a fucking, she said God, but she acted like a vampire. I don't know if you ever dated a white girl before. But they do some weird shit. She was like, Shh. I'm a vampire. I said, bitch, whatever it takes to get the pussy. <laughs> One bump. <laughs> Two bump. Give <laughs> a fuck. Give a fuck. I play the game. I play the game, baby. I play the game. I play the game. I do what I gotta do. I do what I gotta do. But that shit was weird, though. When we had, like, like it would be weird, though. She would take that shit way too serious, though. Like, I go to the house. She put on music. Leg kick. <laughs> Feels the fire burn. She just start touching furniture for no reason. <laughs> Get some hair from a vampire. That's the first time I've ever seen that. I'm improv. I'm like, oh, oh, it's fun. Lost voice. Lost. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Lost grown women. <laughs> it's like lost boys. The gay vampire in this bitch. I almost suck your neck, bitch. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. We can focus. Um, I wear this headband because I'm tired of people walking up to me telling me what other kind of black people don't look like. Do you know you remind me of? Yes, I know I look like Jimi Hendrix with this on. But when I take the motherfucker off, they'd be like, oh, Jenga. <laughs> like, fuck you, man. I might look like a slave. But I look like Frederick Douglass, goddammit. Alright. Alright, I'm I'm feeling y'all now. I feel like I gotta do this joke. It's a, it's a political joke. Say it, do that, do that move that you do me here. A oh, political joke. Exactly. That's why you don't fuck with that shit when it separates us. That shit fucked up my family, man. I'm a black dude. I was like, how the fucking politics fuck up a nigga family? <laughs> like, nigga, don't we all feel the same way? Yes and no. Here's what happened. My cousin had to move in right before this last election. He had to move in with my grandma. He 35 years old. He said he's trying to get his life together. I said, nah, nigga, you fucking up in great seats. You fucking up. And here's what happens. Here's what happens. I go up to the house, he's in the garage, got a, got a little bed, I'm smoking him out with some uh, Snoop Dogg left-handed cigarettes. <laughs> Something comes on the television with Donald Trump. He hits the green, he goes, if Donald Trump wins the election, I'm moving to Canada. You gonna move out of grandma house if Donald Trump win the election? I was like, don't you gotta move out of grandma house to move to Canada? My grandma overheard him. My grandma voted for Trump just to get his ass out of the house. She said, bitch, build a wall around my refrigerator. Make my grocery bill cheap again. <laughs> 
Was that the, I got three, or what do I got? What do I got back there? Three, one more? Boom, one more, I got one more. Can I do one more? That's what comedians ask when you get the light and you don't quite know how much time you got left. Um, this is what I like about 2019. 2019 got me feeling like I got privileges even though I'm 42 years old. I'm a 42 year old black man and finally I got privileges. It's weird as fuck. Just, and I know some of y'all like 42. Listen, I didn't always look 42. I used to have a pot belly. I used to have titties. I used to look like a fucking call center representative manager. I used to walk around the house like this. Hello, thank you for choosing APMD. <laughs> it seems to be big, man. But I see what happened, man. 2019, I got people walking up to me sometimes, generally Caucasian women, and go, you need to check your toxic male privilege. People are like, wait, bitch, did you say I got privilege? <laughs> Get back to that, I'm a nigga. <laughs> Nigga got a privilege, is it? 2019, tell me these privileges. But I realized what she was trying to say. She's just saying that we live in a world with so much diversity that I should be a little bit more aware. And I don't always want to be a little bit aware, but I got to be a little bit more aware. Like I got a gay cousin, he's super fucking gay. Like a super level gay, like a superhero level gay. Like he got a fucking Bluetooth speaker on his hip. When he show up, he just be like, boot, 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 boot. My gay cousin was like, bitch, I want to introduce y'all to my new boo-boo. I said, wait, what the fuck is a boo-boo? You know how I type. You know, no internet, I type this shit up. He said, my little boo was a gold star gay. I said, what the fuck is a gold star gay? A type A gold star gay, y'all. I find a gold star gay is a gay man that's never had sex with a woman before. I said, okay. You get a fucking medal for that, all right? His other boo-boo came in. I said, you got two boo-boos? I said, God damn, move on. His second boo-boo came in. All of a sudden, his second boo-boo came in. I was like, God. Damn, this boo-boo said, I'm a double gold star gay. I said, what the fuck is that? I found out a double gold star gay is a gay man that's never had sex with a woman. He's also a C-section baby. Yes. I said, God damn, he did everything he could to avoid that pussy. The mama said, push, she said, I don't want none of that pussy, bitch. My name is Corey Beck, man. Thank y'all for letting me share.